A couple of weeks ago, we did an episode of God Awful Movies about a Ray Comfort video while Eli was on vacation, and I feel like that left a gibbety-sized hole in everyone's heart. So we decided to revisit <laughs> Ray at least a little bit, and this week's God Awful Mini. So tell us, Heath, what will we be breaking down today? We watched a video that's called Should Christians Support Black Lives Matter? Question mark. It's the story of what it means when that is an active question in your community. <laughs> yeah. That's we terrifying. watched White Splaining. The people demand. <laughs> and Eli, how bad was this mini? Well, if Ray Comfort's unrelated line of questions has always struck you like a bird on a bay window, but you want to see what happens when it's about a topic even he knows has nothing to do with his agenda, you will love this movie. Yeah. So is, is there anything you guys want to nominate this one for being the best to be the worst at? Yeah, lots of possibilities here. I'm going to go with best, best passerby. Okay. Just at one little point during this, it's 20 Ooh. minutes, this stupid little video. He's out in California somewhere. For half a second, Somebody clearly walked up to his shitty thing and was like, hey, Ray Comfort, fuck you. <laughs> and they had to beep it in the middle of the thing because they thought they were like, this footage we're getting is so fucking amazing. We can't get rid of it. We're not losing that. Right. Yeah. We're right, keep this right. guy just being like, fuck <laughs> face. Fuck you. Fuck you. See, when I saw Best Best Pastor by, I thought you meant Aisha, but we'll get to her. We'll get to her. So I was going to go with best, worst, revisionist subtitles. Did either of you guys watch this with the subtitles on? Yes. It was so, like, like, so the concepts agree, but the words were completely fucking different. It's like one of those things where you like, if, if you auto translate English to Dutch, to Chinese, to Swedish, and then back to English, it was like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. I actually had my subtitles for some reason set to Chinese when I turned it on. Yeah, well, that's because Eli gave us the link for, yeah. It went default to that. Us. Yeah. But then I, I switched it back to English and the English closed captioning had a lot of trouble. It, it was doing like phonetically what Ray Comfort was saying a lot of the time. Yes. Oh, interesting. So water was like W-A-H-T-A-U-H. <laughs> yes, constantly. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go with best worst preaching to Christians uh -huh. because two... Not one, two of the people they're doing their spiel on are like, I'm a Christian. And they're like, yeah, but are you? And he's like, I'm your brand of Christian. And he's like, oh, but there's, there's still yes. four questions. Left yeah, on. right. <laughs> exactly. I haven't even got to the are you a good person bit yet. Hold on. My, my dog is wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My flowchart doesn't have nose yet. It doesn't have a new. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get through it. All right, so, yeah, so now Ray Comfort's in this, but he's not the main narrator about this one, right? So we're going to start off with the main narrator basically going like, so, yeah, have, her, have you heard about this new Black Lives Mattering? Have you seen this? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then cut straight to a woman, a, a black woman in a car, screaming murder and do, like, yes. being scary to Ray Comfort somehow. <laughs> yep. Now, of course, this narrator is Easy Zwayne. That's Ray Comfort's black friend, no matter how many times Easy explains that he isn't black, right? Yes. They put him in a hoodie. <laughs> they put him in a hoodie. This guy has worn a suit in every yes. film we've <laughs> ever watched him in. And Ray came up to him just with it stretched out. Huh? You know, for the kids? For the kids? Oh, is this a reference to the young man who was murdered by the vigilante? It it's a reference to the yes. young man who was <laughs> murdered by the vigilante. Yeah. You're connecting with them. Will you wear this one leather glove and put your fist up? Real quick? <laughs> yeah, right, right. No. So, yeah, but they explained to us that there's a difference between the slogan Black Lives Matter and the organization Black Lives Matter. Yeah, they want to be very clear. They do not <laughs> hate black people. They hate the organization that fights for their rights. Right, to exactly. Live. <laughs> they hate them having rights. Yes. Okay. They seem to think that Black Lives Matter is like an official group, like the Antifa Navy, which of course also <laughs> is not, but they, that's what they think is happening here. There's like a hierarchy and like an army of it. Well, there is like, like a charity. There is a, a charity group called Black Lives Matter and that's what they're trying to demonize. Here. Oh yeah, there's tons of things with those words in it, sure. But like, it's a decentralized movement, not like yeah, 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 well, yeah, exactly. A group. Exactly. So, okay. So now he's gonna, he's gonna do some man on the street stuff. We're gonna start with some Trump supporters. <laughs> and we're going to enter into the, the longest running theme of this video is trying to get Jamie to say anything that isn't terrible. 
right? Like the, he's got this one Trump supporter lady and he, the very first thing we hear from her is he goes, so do you believe racism is a reality? There's a person of color asking her. She goes, no. <laughs> no. And they never revisit it. She's nope. just like, yep, no such thing as racism. And they're like, well, I'm Ray Comfort and Fuck. I can't edit around that. This flow so. does not have any of the things you say. I guess we cut and keep that. She's just over there slamming her bat into the ground next to the T-ball. I don't know how to count this. I don't know yes. really what is this. <laughs> we also see this this white guy who's going to explain, or I'm sorry, white explain the proper way to express yourself to to the blacks. Right, it's another one of the talking cats. This is terrifying. Yeah, he's literally saying like, okay, no, I like them mattering, I guess, but they're <laughs> saying it wrong. They're saying it. They don't know yes. how to express their lives mattering correctly. They're not asking nice enough. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. For their lives. <sighs> so, and of course, they also, they find a black guy who has an MLK tattoo, damn it. And they trick him into saying all lives matter so it won't be racist. Exactly. Yeah. And then they they interview a guy whose uh, ethnicity we will go into a little bit later. And he's like, yeah, I say all lives matter. Some people say black lives matter most. And I wrote in my notes, no, nobody says that. Nope, man. No, that's, that's not, not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut to Huntington Beach. Easy tells us, he's like, everybody's going crazy over this whole black lives mattering thing. And then, but meanwhile, like we're, He's at a protest and everyone is so fucking sedate. Okay. Right. He's like, everybody's going crazy. I'm like, no, they're not. We see them. It's so crazy. They're right there. He's at a Black Lives Matter across the street protest and a Trump yes. on this side of the street protest. And he's like, so it's Black Lives Matter versus uh, Trump, I guess. Tough call. <laughs> I'm an evangelical <laughs> Christian. What side do I pick? I'm I'm literally on the Trump side right now, as you can see. Yeah, it's, it's real hard to sell this as a uh, and it's a, lo <laughs> it's a long light. It is a long light. <laughs> <laughs> and then to wrap this segment up, he goes, I'm going to try and bring him the gospel. If I survive. All right. All, if I survive all the African-Americans over there, maybe we'll make some Christians. Yeah, exactly. And then we, we cut to Ray. Ray's in the fucking movie. And he's got a microphone set up. He's asking some randos about Black Lives Matter. This is where we meet the blonde guy from earlier, right? This is where we like a first officially introduce White Splain Longboard. Yeah, I believe yeah. White Splain yes. Longboard. Yes, and his uh, very angry sidekick Andrew Tate in real life. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's the guy. <laughs> Andrew Tate, actually. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. He says he likes Black Lives Matter, but he doesn't like the way it puts everybody in the same bucket. Which bucket is that? The one where we all have to support Black Lives Mattering. Yeah, yeah, that's actually the point that this guy's making. And they put him on fucking camera to say it. That the problem yep. is that BLM wants everyone to think Black Lives Matter. And he's like, yes. really? Everyone? Same bucket on that lives thing? Really? Yes. He says everyone has to believe Black Lives Matter or else. And I wrote in my notes, or else what? Yeah, right. <laughs> or else what? And we're also going to meet here the, the other person that's going to talk with Ray on, on his microphones, Aisha. And I have a hard time. So there's Aisha and then there's the guy with the mask that's actually in the middle of the protest. Like between the two of them, I can't decide, but one of them wins Ray Comfort video better than anyone has ever won Ray Comfort video. They have yeah. all amazing answers to everything. And he keeps being like, Fuck, my floats, yeah. you're killing me. <laughs> Everybody's killing me on this. Now, I would like to nominate Aisha as my favorite. Not because of anything she says, but because of... Street Fighter 2 shirt? No, Street Fighter 2 shirt is good. Yeah, But there is. is one thing more excellent than her Street Fighter 2 shirt. Her hat? And it is the liquid hatred with which her baby is staring yes. oh, okay. yes. at Ray Comfort. <laughs> her baby is... Uh, Tim, if you want to... The best. If you want to dip into the notes here, I've included a screenshot of how her baby looked at Ray Comfort throughout <laughs> this interaction. <laughs> Feel free to share that with the listeners at home. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, her hat says, like, wine is my self-care. So, they're like, yeah, there's a lot of reasons to like Aisha. I feel like this kid's going to, like, crawl out of this JPEG like the ring and attack Ray Comfort. It's so good. Absolutely. But right, yes. Yeah. So, but yeah, and we, we watch her and then we watch this kid. They, they found this, like, a 17-year-old kid that answers every question perfectly. I feel like they were just, like, desperately seeking any inarticulate people to speak on behalf of BLM. And they just... Couldn't find. Couldn't, couldn't find their it. best. No, it sucked. 
This guy was one of my favorites because he's like, you really don't understand why it's dumb to say all lives matter as like a counter argument to the. I, I think you're lying. Yeah. I think you're lying about that. You do understand why that's dumb. Yeah. Cut. Cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He also throws down like, a, oh, and Jesus would very clearly be on my side of this. And they're like, oh, fuck, cut, cut, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. I didn't come over to your brand. Okay, man. There are lines. Yeah, right, right. But then EZ is going to tell us the real values of Black Lives Matter, right? And he starts off with this thing about how they want to challenge the nuclear family. Yeah. Now, the, the movie presents this as a fucking jump scare. They literally make the words disrupt nuclear family scarily float out from the quote yes. to conveniently cover up the other words of the quote. Well, right, because what the other words are basically saying is like we should take care of people rather than assuming that every family can handle their own shit, right? That's what the statement is. Yeah. But they like put disrupt really big and cover all the yeah. good stuff up. And in that sense, we absolutely should disrupt the nuclear family and have communities that support each other. That's good. Yes. That's a good idea. Absolutely. Objectively good idea. But then EZ comes back and says, but the nuclear family isn't some Western prescribed things. It was God prescribed according to strictly Western conceptions of God. <laughs> yeah, I, which, and that is so funny because God's conceptions of the family are wildly un-Western, according to Reka. Like, oh yeah, no, it's a man, a woman, and your brother's widow, and a yeah, slave right, and your who can you a yeah, child, exactly. <laughs> and a black guy who gets up after 48 hours. It's okay. a very, God's laid it out very clearly what the family is. I love there's this great moment where Ray Comfort says to Aisha, she's like, so he's like, what, what do you think's wrong with humanity? And I'm like, say you, please. I will give you $150 to just say you. You are what's wrong. <laughs> but she doesn't. She, she basically, she goes with lack of empathy, right? Like, which is what almost everybody says. You know, what's the problem? It's like, you know, people just not being empathetic. And he's like, no, nope, no, nope, not being my religion, actually. He says, he says. We trod loving people in the 60s, and that what? Martin Luther King was all talking. You see Aisha's face change, and he's like, you cut. <laughs> I, I, I know for a fact that he cut and just lifted up a dog wearing sunglasses was like, you can't punch me. I'm holding a dog wearing sunglasses. <laughs> you wouldn't punch a dog in glasses, would you? <laughs> but you watch her be like, no, 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 continue your thought. And he does a little bit more, and he's like, no, MLK had a dream, but it didn't work because... He died. I don't, I like civil rights leaders who don't die. Ah, yes. I don't know what to say next. Yes. And he actually says things got worse since the 60s. Yes. What? Yeah, like vis-a-vis -vis race relations, things have gotten worse since the 60s in his fucking telling. Really? I just love, he's like, you know, we tried loving people in the 60s and that didn't work. It's like, oh, have we tried Christianity before, Ray? Has your thing, your thing failed in the actual 60s, not the 1960s, just the zero, <laughs> zero 60s, and you're still fucking doing it. Yeah. This is when he, he he cuts to another guy and he's like, solve racism now. Go. Yes! Too slow. Yes. And the guy's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? So stupid. Well, he basically, he's like, you know, hey, so solve racism in 10 words or less. And the kid's like, fuck, man, um, empathy and not being an uptight dick when people point out how harmful your behavior is. He's like, nope, 16 words. You did good, but that's 16. <laughs> Debate Robert Kennedy Jr. or Black Lives Don't Matter. Do it right now. $100,000. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so easy cuts in with another core value, which is that Black Lives Matter fosters a queer affirming network dot, dot, dot. Don't worry. Queer affirming is going to grow to cover the entire screen and <laughs> just the way Disrupt did earlier. I literally wrote in my notes, affirming, affirming, affirming. <laughs> Black Lives Matter is also against this other type of bigotry. And this movie is being like, suspect. What's that other one? What are they doing? Yes. As a Christian, you got to ask yourself, are we letting the minorities intersect like that? I feel right. like that's scary for us, right? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the quote says that they're against heteronormative thinking. And he's like, see, they're against heterosexuals. <laughs> they hate <laughs> straight people. Yeah. <laughs> and then he does this great yada, yada, yada. He's like, and look, of course, the Bible says to treat homosexuals with love and respect and dignity. And I was like, hey, 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 whoa, let me stop you right there. Yeah, nope. right. Does it, though? It says the opposite. Well, but then, and then the last half of that sentence fails to treat LGBTQ people <laughs> with respect or dignity. <laughs> He's like, we just can't let them exist in the world as all <laughs> as they are. 
I'd love for black lives to matter, but if gay lives are mattering too, I don't know. I just I I can't you, I <laughs> square the circle on this. Really? Yeah. yeah, that's the point they make here. Yep. And then we cut back to there's this non-Ray white guy, and he's the worst. Like he's the fucking worst. In a video with Easy Zwayne and Ray Comfort, he's the fucking worst. He was the one willing to ask this question. <laughs> that's yeah. why he's in the video. This is the president of Living Waters, the stupid fucking ministry. Oh, is he? Of course it is. Yeah. Oh God, this guy is fucking. He, so he's asking an African American. How that guy would react if he identified as a black person. A white guy walks up to a black yep. guy and says that. He says, what if I told you that I identify as a black person? I was like, please say Black Lives Matter a bit less. Please yes. say <laughs> please respond with slightly less now. What's amazing is nobody falls for his stupid trap. Nope. He's like, what if I said I'm black? And he'd be like, yeah, a lot of people who don't look black identify as black. And he was like, What? <laughs> Well, and then he's like, what if I said I was a woman? And the guy's like, how could that possibly affect me? Right? And the guy's like, okay, all right, all right. What if I identified as your daughter and said you owed me child support? And I'm like, well, see, now it affects him. That's the difference, you fucking idiot. Right. And what's so amazing is that in his desperate third gamble, he accidentally makes a point for our side. Right, because we tell adopted families that their kids are their children all the time. Sure. Because yeah. family is a construct. Right. But he's an idiot who doesn't realize <laughs> that. So he's like, yeah, it's like a lot of the things that are very important to us are malleable based on culture. Oh, God damn it, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> I disproved my religion again. Fuck, I oh. keep doing this. <laughs> Ray, I gotta put a dollar in the jar. Nope, this is a big one. Full dollar. Yep. Full yep. dollar. I did it on Ray, camera. I need the I need the flow chart back, man. Yeah. So, but, but, and the point that he's making is right. Like, like eventually like he keeps going until somebody's like, well, yeah, you can't identify my do as my daughter. And they're why, like, why not? And he says, cause you're not. And he says, boom, cause I'm not gotcha. And they're like, what did you get? Right. But that's apparently that's the gotcha question in his mind. And then they have to explain what a bunch of fucking commies BLM are. Right. He goes, according to the New York Post, and I'm like, hey, well, that's uh, your first problem. Going to stop right you right there. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're saying, expert. Yeah, much. right. I'm sorry. Are the alliteration experts about who or who is not a pedo at the New York Post not your number one source <laughs> when vetting? <laughs> I will say the quote that they have from the New York Post, very mysterious ellipses right in the middle of that <laughs> quote. But it's about how, like, you know, the, the BLM supports Marxism. And fucking Easy Swain comes in with one of the stupidest cell phones I've ever seen. He's like, well, Marx believes that money was the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. That's the apostle fucking Paul, you <laughs> idiot. That's the yep, guy who literally. invented your fucking religion who said that. Yeah, apparently Jesus, though. Jesus was a strict Smithian neoliberal capitalist, though, <laughs> yeah. in the Gospels, I think. So, yeah, Paul said that, but Jesus was, like, yeah, super... He says, catalyst. that's dangerous. I'm like, that's the only non-dangerous part of your fucking religion, you idiot. The only way this scene gets better is if, like, in Annie Hall, the, Paul turns around and is like, hello, I am Paul the Apostle. Yeah, right. You know nothing of my work. <laughs> so and then he uses the opiate of the masses quote, which, by the way, he actually does the right quote instead of the wrong quote, which is what I just said yes, to you. Yes, he does the long version with the drum solo and everything. That was nice. Right, but his, but his answer is, we like our opium just fine, thank you. Well, <laughs> right, right. So he's like, well, you know, Marx said that if you destroy religion, then society would be happy. So they're coming after your religion, right? Okay, but it would, though. Like well, we have a whole bunch of data <laughs> so yeah, shows like the less religious societies are happier. But he also has the cause and effect wrong, right? Because what Marx said is that if you make society fair and equitable, religion will abolish itself. Like the reason for religion would go away, which is what the data show, right? Right. So, okay, so we got some more man on the street stuff with Easy. We're, we go back to the Trump supporter lady who is by far the worst person that they managed to find other than like, one another, you know, the president of Living Waters, I guess, was the worst. But this is the best because we watch two crazy people who are just stains on society, both being like, ugh, this one. Yeah, like I'm, just, right. I'm just like, it's like when your worst friend gets a terrible girlfriend and you're like, good for them. Good for them taking themselves out of the dating pool. And just, yeah, right. 
in the moment that Easy was talking to Jamie, neither Easy nor Jamie was talking to anyone else, and that's a net good for the yeah. world. Right, right. No, it was honestly it was watching these two like slowly realize that they were meant for each other that gave me the idea for the two quote Cupid joke that I used at the top <laughs> of the <this> show. <laughs> so. This is where Jamie introduces us to the fact that this is black lives don't really matter. It's just because of the election. Mm -hmm. The left side, this is her words, is race baiting and the blacks pause while she realizes she said the word the blacks <laughs> are falling for it. And I just yes. wrote my notes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> They're not as savvy as she is. Right. And then Easy's like, OK, can you at least grant that? racism exists as a theoretical concept. And she's like, oh, I guess. <laughs> Earlier, I said flat no. Uh, right. I'm, now, I'm mm, back in a Technically, bit. yeah, on mm, both sides, though. Right? Yeah. Asterisk gaw. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then, so now easy. So there's this one guy that's like, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess he's not ranking the races. It really sounds like he's, because he goes like every race. And then he lists in his mind, all the races, right? They asked this guy about George Floyd. Oh, wait, this is the guy. This is clearly a guy where they were like, hmm, what race is that guy? Not white. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he could be you, sir. Sir, you're like, you're like a few clicks into my paint chips thing that I have. Um, <laughs> you think BLM is dumb, though, right? As a person? Yeah, right. And, and yes. yeah, they found uh, on the MAGA side, they found a Republican guy who's not white. Great. Yes. Yeah. They asked him what he thought when he watched the video of George Floyd being murdered. And this is his answer, if I may quote. It kind of sucks to see colored folks to get sometimes <sighs> targeted by law enforcement, kind of sucks. Let's we'll, we'll we'll move past colored folks as his fucking descriptor. <laughs> but kind of sucks. That was your answer to what did you think when you watched the fucking George yeah. Floyd video? This kind of sucks. If you watch that video, you hear George <laughs> Floyd being like, "This is a bummer. This is a real." <laughs> what, what, what do I think of this video of another human being being killed by the state? I would say it is not cash money. Yeah, not so, particularly cash money. Yeah. So Easy's like, so you're Latino, right? And the guy's like, like my, like half, half. And then Easy's like, have you ever experienced racism? He's like, I'm experiencing racism right now. Asshole. Right now, when you ask, I can me hear my you mouthing semi rune. You didn't say it out loud, but when I said half Latino, you were like semi rune. <laughs> So, yeah, so then the, the president of Living Waters comes up to explain the whole George Floyd kerfuffle to us, right? But what he, like, the explanation that he uses here is that you'd have to be a Christian to think that murdering George Floyd was bad in the first place. Yeah, he says atheists applaud such a deed and then provides no evidence for why he says that. Right, yeah, and I'm like, so it's so weird that you couldn't find any of the atheists at the Black Lives Don't Matter protest you were just at, asshole. Right, and to be clear, though, he was saying George Floyd getting killed was bad. We know that only because God told us, and he says that proudly, and yeah. I was like, you you see how that's worse, right? You made it worse, right? Yeah, right? You get bad, that, right? <laughs> really? Yeah, he's like, you know, what makes George Floyd's life valuable the first in the first place? It's that he was created in the image of God, and you're, I'm like, so it's the basic body plan in your mind <laughs> is the reason. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. And then they're trying to reinforce the idea that the slogan is good, but the organization is bad. So they have the words Black Lives Matter on the left side of the screen and on the right side of the screen, one with a green check and one with a red X. And I'm like, wow, how holy trinity of you. Thanks for the clarification, <laughs> you jackasses. And then we, we cut back to Easy, desperately trying to mine some semblance of empathy out of Jamie. Yeah. And this is so fucking belabored he's like okay there's a police i'm trying to get to jesus wait a second there's a police officer and then there's a a, jo a boy having his sneakers stolen is the metaphor i've come up with are those two people related no no and the cop then, is the son the son is the cop's son is the guy with the, the sneakers wait, he's from his the first son. wife or is it no it's wait so but they go around Step the corner son. so he can't see him 
but he knows. Oh, how would he know? I guess yells. Are you a good person? <laughs> oh, it's so, right because the whole time we're going like, where are you going with this? Easy. It's got all of the fucking pointless details of a six-year-old's choke. You're like, where is this going? And then he just cuts off and never goes back to it. He, it's so long. It's like minutes long. And finally, all he did was say, can the cop stop the robbery of the child? Like, what argument was he winning in his head? Because obviously, no. Th this crazy person agrees with him. Like, yeah, stop the robbery. And he's like, exactly. Stop the robbery. Anyway, are you a good person? They literally goes exactly like that. I like I wrote in my nose. Okay, so wait, so are we stealing Jesus's shoes? Is that the analogy? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But we do that. We do the are you a good person gambit with everybody. We have one guy actually answer the question really correctly. And he's just going like he's explaining that like morals are subjective, like necessarily because of the definition of the word. Right. And the non-Ray White guy is like, oh, so it would be all right for me to kill you since that's my desire. And I'm like, OK, one, not remotely what subjective morals means. But two, like, why do you desire to kill this random person on the street? You twisted fuck. What's wrong with you? <laughs> he goes, well, why would it be wrong to rape somebody? He goes, well, because, you know, that it would be done with the intent to harm another person. He's like, I agree with you. But why would it be wrong? I'm like, how do you think that why works, dude? Hey, hey man, <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to work out your stance on black lives and rape. I'm just going to let you meditate because I don't <laughs> think <laughs> you I want to help you with that. Or, do you, you want me to step I don't up, think you man. should be around others. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> right. And to be clear, but let's be very clear. Because his his answer to that question is because God says rape is wrong, which A, no, he fucking doesn't. Nope. And B, implies that if God did not say rape is wrong, then rape would be totally fine. Yes. Right. Yeah. And 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 then like we get the guy, like he's telling the one guy, he's like, now do you understand you're a liar and a thief and all that. That means you're going to hell. And you the guy's got this like, yeah, look how visibly scared I am. Look on his face. That's absolutely oh. priceless. He's like, are you taking this seriously? Oh yeah. No, I'm taking it very seriously. Very seriously. He doesn't have the heart for it. The, the African-American gentleman they have who has the tattoo of, he's like, so you're, um, you're a lying thief, right? You're a lying thief. And he's like, what? <laughs> what? Sorry, just get a little closer to me as you say that. And he's like, I just wanted to get you... Um, I didn't want to be within your reach. Um, Ray, so <laughs> Ray does a big circle and everyone stands at two mics and I realize why he does that now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really see the onrushing person. <laughs> They have the, the younger kid with the mask on. They're like, so are you worried to go that you're going to hell? He's like, no, because I already know about your loophole where I just have to apologize later in my head. And, I, and I'm fine. And they're like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> because, uh-uh. Actually. Okay. Cut. <laughs> Ray, how's it going over there with Aisha? <laughs> yeah, right. We cut to Aisha is agreeing with Ray so hard it fucks his whole thing up. She's like, no, I already know this. I am your, I share your religion though, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> but have you ever, have you ever had lust in your heart? Yeah. And then I was forgiven by Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Oh yeah. You no, were. God damn it. <laughs> My dog has sunglasses. <laughs> the camera, every time she she deflects him, the camera just pans down to the dog in sunglasses as if to say, shush, shush, shush. Jingly <laughs> fucking keys. Yes. Jingly dog in sunglasses. Yes. <laughs> I love that she starts trying to roll her bike away like a hundred times during this yes. little exchange being like, yep. all right, oh, it's getting late. I'm pretty well, tired. Man, I'm well, being yeah, old. right, right. Dusty trail. Mm. <laughs> and then we we cut to to Jamie slowly realizing that like she could see herself fucking easy. She wasn't so sure about it, but like they, like there's this great moment where like both of them sort of realize that they're. They're both fucking assholes, so they're not guarded anymore. She's like, oh, I thought you were going to try to make me be empathetic towards black people, but you're you're making a video against Black Lives Mattering. Oh, OK, I'm on board now. Mm -hmm. This is where he uses an, his analogy of different colored sheep. <laughs> OK, I don't even understand <laughs> what was the attempt here. He's like, so imagine a white sheep, right? Nope. Look at it now with snow behind it. It's actually a. Light-skinned, colored sheep. You get it? It's <laughs> not as delightsome as you thought it was. And, and Jamie was like, yeah, totally get it. Exactly. 
Exactly. <laughs> Racially, right? And he's like, no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. That's no, 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 no. I get my whole video is about that, but not right now. I'm doing a metaphor. No, so we're going to do it. So like not white enough. I, that's bad. Yeah. So, and then Easy wraps it up with the obvious closing question. He's like, do Black Lives Matter? He's like, of course they do. And of course they should. And I wrote in my notes, bet you don't end the sentence there. He goes, but. <laughs> no, yes. no. Oh, man, I said but. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the very last line in there, he's like, they're pitching us on liking and subscribing. And they're like, help us keep making videos of this caliber. I'm like, this is, dude, this is the lowest of the calibers. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. <laughs> hey, I'll take your money and help you make videos of more caliber like this. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'm dying to know whether Ray thinks a mind really is a terrible thing to waste, but I guess we're going to have to find that out on the next God Awful Minis.